Right, let's make this background more interesting. So I've grabbed out the Pretty Connected stamp collection and I've chosen one of the worker stamps from What's Occurring to start with. And I'm spraying some of the Caraco spritz ink onto the glass mat. Dabbing the stamp into the ink, tapping off the excess as I'm going. And then just randomly stamping onto the background. Which in yesterday's video, I don't think I actually said. It's actually an A3 piece of cardstock. So I do like working on larger pieces because you get more interest and then when you chop it down you've got choices as to what you use that card stock for so now i've picked up the dark fruits Using the same stamp, going back in and rotating the stamp and just, just filling the piece of card. No rhyme or reason as to where anything is going. Giving the stamp a good clean in between. Uh, this one is the pink gin and I really need to tap off the excess because there was a lot. And obviously when you're using ink for stamping you don't always get a clear image um, but when it's for a background it's fine. It doesn't matter. I like it where it's sort of wishy-washy and some areas are clear and some areas aren't. It looks really cool. Giving the stamp a good clean off. And now I've chosen Nature's Design and it's the larger set with the numbers on the distressed numbers that I'm using this time and I'm just using up the pink gin ink that was on the glass mat How do you make your backgrounds? Do you do larger backgrounds or do you just do the size of background that you need for the project you're creating? Leave your answer in the comments. I'd love to know how you create yours. And it's the dark fruits again, isn't it? No, it's not actually. It's the Caraco and it did not want to come out even though it had got a clean nozzle. It was being really naughty. So I end up getting a pipette. I'm dropping some onto the glass mat. Using the same stamp again. I do tend to use the same stamp with three different colours on a piece that I'm working on. Whether it's inks or whether it is the ink pads. That one's the dark fruits.
All right, so giving it a quick dry off. Now I've pulled out a bottle of glycerin. So I'm using the pipette again, just to get some glycerin onto the glass mat. And that one is a peril. So that is a gorgeous orange. So I've just dabbed a sponge, pulling my hair out of it. God, it's everywhere. Um, dab the sponge into the glycerin and then tapped it into the sponge and then added the ink and then you, as you saw I was tapping the sponge into the glass mat to try and work the ink and the glycerin into the sponge and it makes it a lot easier to actually use your ink sprays as you would an ink pad. Hopefully that makes sense. So just randomly moving the card stock around the mat and using the V signs stencil from Dirty Gertie. See the card stock's that big, I've got to stick it underneath to try and work on it. <laughs> Quick clean up with me rather dirty, lumpy old tea towel. But I'm sure we've all got them. Quick dry. And now I'm going in with some absinthe. Got the stencil back out and I've got some white gesso. So putting some white gesso onto the glass mat and then I'm mixing in the absinthe to create a light green chalk paint. I had to pause it then because I couldn't think what I was making. <laughs> Dear Lord. <laughs> Just wiping off the spatula with another piece of sponge and then dabbing the sponge into it. I try not to overload it because I don't want too much seepage but at the end of the day you're still going to get it aren't you um, but I was trying to show you different techniques that you can use your spritz sinks and different ways to create with them and I know like Lynette will use the sprays to stamp with um, but obviously we have people that don't always see the demos on Facebook or on the TV. So by doing it, some of us, some of the techniques we do cross over. So you will see some people doing it and then you'll see me do it, for example, um, but it's all different techniques that we pick up and we learn from different people. And sometimes those techniques are really old and they have been forgotten. And you'll do them and it's, oh, I've never seen that before. So I'm just going back in and just putting little bits here and there. I'm not using the whole stencil, I'm just using parts of the stencil. And I mixed up too much, too much, what a waste. If I'd been organised I would have had another page ready but I wasn't and I didn't. 
Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this inspirational video and hope you try some of these techniques and I will... Oh, I haven't finished. I thought I'd finished. <laughs> I forgot this bit. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, I've pulled out some ink pads. Let's be professional, Melanie. Right, I've pulled out some ink pads and I've got Warm Breeze, Summertime and Charming Pink and they're the Versifying Claire and I don't know what stamp set I just used. What am I using? Was it a circle? It is. It's from Be The Spark stamp set. See, I'm saying be professional. I didn't even see what I was doing because I was just off on a tangent. So the first colour I used was the summertime. And now I'm using Warm Breeze. I think it was summertime. Yeah, it was. Now I'm going in with the Charming Pink. Using the same stamp. Obviously cleaning it off in between changing ink colours right I'm keeping a close eye so I know which stamp set I'm using this time it's the what's occurring stamp set and I think I'm going back in yes I am going back in with the same stamp I used at the very beginning and it's like um, what you would see on circuits, on a circuit board. I'm not explaining it very well, am I? Going in with the charming pink. And then the warm breeze. Stamping off the page, half stamping, not pressing down on the stamp fully so you get partial images. It all adds to the interest of the background that you create. I thought I'd already used that one. Charming pink. It's a very vibrant colour. But then the ink colours, the ink pads that you use with the spritz inks need to be vibrant. Give it a quick dry with the heat gun. And there we go. All finished. Lots of different textures and interest. Thank you for watching.